Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com here back today with another cryptocurrency price prediction analysis and forecast video, this time on Ethereum Classic, which is a cryptocurrency that isn't talked about all that much, but is getting some interesting you know, price action right now. And I think that this one might start getting some more and more attention. Now, of course, this is a little bit of a... I don't like to use the word outdated because I don't know if that's completely fair. Some people refer to it as an outdated cryptocurrency. Um, I just, I would prefer calling it, you know, not exactly uh, active right now. It's not an active cryptocurrency. And I'll get into that uh, in just a second. But as per usual, you know, I'm going to be doing my price prediction for the next 6 to 12 months out. I'm also going to be doing a little technical analysis, going over, you know, some of the fundamentals, the community size, the website, stuff like that. But... Ethereum Classic has been rising in price lately, getting some massive volume, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this because I think that this could be a pretty interesting opportunity in the making right now. So uh, really quickly, I'll give a quick shout out to my price predictions playlist. If you're interested in seeing my other price prediction videos for various cryptocurrencies, I'll have a link to this playlist in the comment section and in the description below. So if you want to get, you know, maybe a second opinion on a cryptocurrency that you like, definitely check out this playlist. And other than that, let's get right into, you know, Ethereum Classics. So the community size. Let's start off with their subreddit. Now, over 8,000 people. So that's a pretty big size, of course, since it's been around for a while now. Uh, that's understandable. It isn't the most active subreddit. But, you know, I, I guess it's gaining some traction. Um, moving over to their website. And I'll talk a little bit about what exactly Ethereum Classic is um, just really quickly for anybody who doesn't know. Because, of, for, of course, it can be confusing because there are, you know, two versions of Ethereum, right? There's Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. So what, what's the deal with these two? Well, basically, you know, there was the main Ethereum network and there was a hack on the network that was then followed by a disagreement where, you know, the network split in two. So there's Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, right? These cryptocurrencies are, you know, very similar. There's some slight differences, but the main difference that's, that's really important to understand is that um, Ethereum Classic uh, really prides itself on being immutable, right? So that means that transactions uh, on the network cannot be reversed or modified in any way, right? Now, that's the main difference because transactions have already been modified or reversed on um, the Ethereum network. So that's something to pay attention to and, you know, it's pretty important. Basically, Ethereum Classic is the truer version of Ethereum and of a cryptocurrency now, that's not to say that, you know, Ethereum Classic, uh, Ethereum itself is bad, not at all. You know, I think Ethereum Classic as of right now has much more going for it. Uh, sorry, Ethereum has much more going for it than Ethereum Classic as of right now. So Ethereum Classic still needs, you know, there's work to be to be done here. But, you, you know, it, it, it does pride itself on being um, true to what a cryptocurrency is supposed to be, you know, decentralized and everything. Some people say that Ethereum is, you know, a little bit like a fiat currency and stuff like that. Now, I don't totally disagree with that, but it's true that Ethereum Classic might be a little bit less, you know, controlled, right? And I won't get into too many of the, the nitty-gritty details on Ethereum Classic, but one thing that I wanted to point out, as you can see, the website is a little bit outdated indeed. And if we take a look at their timeline... Yeah, this is something that isn't great to see, but it hasn't been updated really since March 2017, right? So as you can see, after that, they just have to be continued as Ethereum Classic community uh, and its two independent dev teams start to focus efforts on development and applications. We look forward to ETC becoming a decentralized, immutable, immutable public infrastructure of the future, right? And this definitely kind of confirms the fact that, um, you know, it's just not an active cryptocurrency right now. Now, I know that they're working on some stuff but it's definitely not at a pace or it's, it's kind of irrelevant right now, right? They really need to, to get things back into gear fully um, before they can truly be, you know, get some better recognition and, and get, you know, at least my full stamp of approval. So that's obviously something to look forward to in the future and that could definitely happen. As of right now, though, it's still not there yet. Now, they do have a, uh, there's an ETC, you know, summit conference in, uh, I think, November 13th. So that's something to be, to pay attention to, you know, it, it might, you know, spark a bit of price action. We'll see what comes out of that, but definitely want to see Ethereum Classic, you know, maybe get more development in the, the future, right, and, and get some more activity going. Now, 
coming over back to the numbers, and, and this is what really interests me as of right now for Ethereum Classic, is, you know, the, the recent price increase that it got, and that price increase has been backed by a massive, massive amount of volume, right? $339 million just in the past 24 hours. And as you can see, you can go up the ranking here and that's more than Ethereum itself, right? So that's very, very telling. And there's some pretty big money coming into Ethereum Classic right now. So this could actually be a bit of a reversal in the making. Uh, take a look at the, just the past, you know, couple days here, the, the volume has been ramping up uh, and just keeps, today was the, you know, the most volume in a while here. So that's a pretty powerful sign right there and, and something that I really like to see. Now, you know, the current market cap is one point, uh, almost $1.3 billion, circulating supply of 97 million um, coins. Now, as you can see, you know, Ethereum Classic uh, started off in June 2016. I think it actually may have, have um, the network may have been created even before that, but Basically, what you have to pay attention to is it's been downtrending, right? It, it made an all-time high of, you know, around $23. Um, started down, downtrending for a while now after that. That was back in June uh, 2017. So down downtrended, you know, it had a bit of a spike, but that didn't hold at all. So that was kind of irrelevant. And now, finally, we kind of broke out of this downtrend, right? And I'll get to this in technical analysis. We also have a bit of a double bottom formation here. So... You know, the chart is looking good, the price action was looking good, the volume is looking good, and for a cryptocurrency that's, you know, called outdated and sort of dead, this is definitely kind of contradictory, and like I said, could mean that there's maybe a little bit of a revival in the making right now for Ethereum Classic, possibly a really good buying opportunity, you know, it depends. But um, I will be giving my price prediction for the next 6 to 12 months once I do the technical analysis. What you have to pay attention to, though, is, you know, it's now in the top 10, and very competitive area, very hard to, you know, move up in, and it, it's, you know, we'll see what it does, but I think it can definitely start climbing up, um, maybe towards Litecoin levels, if, if this is really, you know, a, a reversal right now. So, I'll get into that, but, yeah, you have to be aware, you know, could it, like, overcome Ethereum? Probably not, at least not right now with what it has going for it, I don't think so, um, but, you know, at the, at the end of the day, they are very similar cryptocurrencies, so we could definitely see some growth here if, if things come, come back to life. Now, getting to the technical analysis for Ethereum Classic, you know, I had drawn this downtrend uh, line a couple days ago, as you can see, it broke out in the short term, and I can even extend this a little bit, you know, to back over here, so you get the full scale of the downtrend and the breakout now. Another important thing that I wanted to point out is this sort of, you know, triple bottom almost now, where we, you know, after coming down, we hit this, let's see, the low over here of $8.57, bounced off that, came back, tested that again, uh, bounced off that, and then a third time, so this is a triple bottom, and now we're moving back up, right, so that's actually a very bullish sign, now let me just go ahead and draw um, one of the resistance levels here that I can see, see if we're already sort of moving back above that, and, you know, we already broke above this $13 area, which is very good. That'll be some, some new added support. Now, of course, we're going to face some resistance a bit higher here near this, this you know, $14 area, I guess, maybe a little bit lower than that. But um, right now, the, the things to pay attention to is it's obviously looking good, right? Indicators are looking good, moving back up and everything. Um, RSI is still not even in the overbought area, so still has a, a bunch of room to go. And this move right here could really mean that Ethereum Classic, to give you my price prediction, finally, could could really move up and and you know make test at least its its previous all time high and potentially even start making new all time highs uh, by the end of 2018, right? So that would be about a hundred percent increase from from where we are right now, and that would push it up, you know, like I said, near maybe Litecoin's current market cap. So it would probably definitely move up the top ten ranking. And, you know, that would be pretty big. That could really spark um, some growth in Ethereum as a Ethereum Classic as a whole. Now, of course, there's going to be some resistance levels. And, you know, it's going to have to climb all the way back up, break through these resistances and everything. And what I don't want to see, though, with this breakout over here is, you know, that it's, it's going to be like a false, false alarm, right? Where 
Over here, we had you know a breakout of the, the downtrend. It didn't hold at all. It was just a fluke and it came crashing back down, right? If that happens over here, you know, I'll, I'll really kind of lose my bullishness on Ethereum Classic and, you know, I'll consider it maybe pretty much dead at that point. But uh, right now, you know, it's looking pretty good in my opinion and definitely multiple bullish signs. I think this one will move back up in the short term. So something to pay attention to, especially with the amount of money that it's coming into it. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, you know, just a, a dead cat bounce and, and a false alarm as of right now. So I'll definitely keep you updated on Ethereum Classic. It'll be interesting to see if this one can really come back to its previous glory, I guess you could say. But let me know what you think of Ethereum Classic. Uh, do you like it? Do you think it can, you know, re-see some, some growth and, you know, rise back up to where it was before? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. But other than that, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos. Other than that, have a great day and thanks for watching.